How you doing everyone? We are going to be opening up an Evolving Skies booster box today. Now to kind of spread it out because we don't have a ton of these booster boxes available to us at the moment, we will split this up into maybe two, maybe three videos. So today we're going to open up at least 12 packs. If I, if these just gets a little too addicting, I guess, so to speak, we might open up like 18 packs, but we're going to try to split this up into at least two videos. So let's go ahead and open up this booster box to have my handy dandy Snorlax pin. How y'all doing? How is your morning, evening, afternoon, midnight, whenever you're watching this? How is everyone doing today? Ooh, here we go. So this is actually uh, the first official opening that we're doing on the channel for Evolving Skies. We did open up one, literally one pack um, on Instagram or for Instagram and TikTok and the other day. And we pulled a Ludicolo, a nice hollow Ludicolo, very happy. He looks very happy uh, in that card. And I believe that's a Sao Sao. I think it was Sao Sao was the illustrator, which I am starting a Sao Sao uh, binder. And so I'm very excited about that. And my gosh, just look at these artworks. We are going to go a little slow today because Evolving Skies is new. We have only opened, like I said, just one pack. And man, just the artwork on these packs are just, they're just beautiful. I love them. So here, let's get into it. First pack opening of, uh, oops. First official pack opening of Evolving Skies. And you have to excuse me, I do have a new setup going on. I'm, try I'm just trying some new things. If you guys have been here, oh, that's very cool. Very cool artwork. I just I just love the art. I love the art on these cards. But yeah, if you guys have been here for a while, you've noticed some changes. We actually have changed. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> SQ on top of another SQ. <laughs> Man, y'all know if you've been here for a while that I just love even like the commons and the and the uncommons. They just have such cool artwork. I just really really love them. But yeah, we have been. If you've been here for a little while, you know that we've had some changes lately. We did change the name from my, for my name, Ulysses, to Perspective in Pokemon. Ooh, Baba, let's go. We do. I do also have a Baba binder going. So there we go, Wobbuffet, Hippo, Hip, Hip, Hip Hop, Potamus, Hip -hop -pot I sometimes struggle with the names of. Whoa, wait a second. Hold up. Okay, that is the rare. But did we not get a reverse hollow? We did not get a single reverse hollow in that pack. What in the world? All right then. <laughs> but there's the rare Militic. Very cool. All right then. No, no reverse hollow for us in that pack. Right, let's go on to our next pack and yeah hopefully this audio sounds good and everything new mic uh which works well for videos that i don't i'm not opening up packs and but i'm wondering how this is gonna go when i'm opening up packs Ooh, very cool treasure energy petil pet petilil <laughs> Feebas, we've seen this artwork before. Feebas is ignoring all of the lines. Like, nah, not today. Ooh, Hitmonchan. I just pulled this one uh, in my in the first pack, and it's a very cool. I just love that artwork. Hitmonchan is like slicing through the rain. Like, my gosh, how can you not love just this artwork? It's just so amazing. Fletchling. There's our reverse hollow. There we go. Uh, Little Ted, very nice reverse hollow, and a Altaria. Very cool. All right, we are now three packs in. This is the third pack. And if this will open, what else should we talk about tonight, everyone? Or today? It's tonight for me. I normally can only do these videos after my girls are asleep. I used to be able to do some videos. Ooh, very cool. Have a lot have a lug. Man, some of these Pokemon I have not seen like in a set in a little while. Ribbon badge. 
but yeah, I record these videos after my kids go to bed. Used to be able to do it during the day, just but you know what, had to switch things up for work. Oh, that's a cute teddy rusa. <laughs> very um what's the very uh Kodak moment. Tentacle, what are you even doing? He almost looks like he's walking on water. What in the world? <laughs> All right, Tentacool can walk on water. He can't just swim. He can walk on water. Let's go. Scraggy. And are you kidding me? It happened again. Oh, my gosh. That should have been the reverse hollow. What is up? I've been hearing some stories about evolving skies. But okay. All right. We Apparently, we don't get reverse hollows in this box. We've got literally one reverse hollow. Might need to consider it a rare now, just because one for one for three. So let's see if we can get a, a, a reverse, a second reverse hollow in this pack. Ikara. So if I take a little set, if I take a second, it's because I'm just admiring and looking at this new artwork. Okay, Wobble Fit again. Hop Ip. Swablu. By what should we talk about tonight? Cry, cry, cryogalon, or I, I don't think I pronounced that correctly. Reverse holo and a flapple. Wow, that's that's actually a really cool flapple card. That's very sweet. Um, I guess something I want to just talk about, maybe just mention, is well, a couple things on my mind today. A couple things. If you saw. One of my recent videos, you know that I talked about Evolving Skies booster boxes and how, at least at the time of that recording, I don't know what, when I'm going to get this particular video up. Ooh, very cool gold duck. But at least as of tonight, today, booster boxes are selling now for about 170 for Evolving Skies. Lit Leo, very cool. And oh, there's the Eevee. There's the Eevee that we saw in Eevee Heroes. Knew this was going to be some kind of throw or like uh, foreshadowing for Evolving Skies. Cutie Fly. Hitmonchan. But yes. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Real quick. No reverse hollow, but we did get a golden Teleon. Let's go. All right. Oh my gosh. It's been a while since we pulled a gold card like at all in any of the sets. Let's go. All right. Why why don't we have reverse hollows? I I don't get why we are not getting reverse hollows in this box, but let's go. Our first big hit Intellion Gold card. Oh my gosh. I actually so I had an extra booster box I sold to someone in uh my my Pokemon groups, this local Pokemon group that I'm in. And he was like, yes, I got some good hits, but the box only had 35 packs. <laughs> I'm like, what? And then there was someone else like, who got a booster box from, from some other place saying, yeah, I only got 35 packs in mine too. So I'm like, what is going on with this quality control <laughs> with Evolving Skies? Ooh, very cool. Hypno goes the artist, artist Tanaka. Nicket. We got Dweeble, Ruffleet, Zess, Komiya. Yes, we got a new Komiya, another artist that I am collecting for this Rogue and Rogue and Rolla. Okay, it's just, it's like every other pack has a reverse hollow, or like every two packs, but not. Ooh, Ampharos, very nice. That is a hint for hit for me because Ampharos is one of my favorite Pokemon. Oops. Oh yeah. Interesting stuff happening with these Evolving Skies booster boxes. Um, what was I saying? Oh, but yeah, going back to how booster boxes are up to like 170 at the moment. I think some people are buying, are paying that price because they can't find them in store or like at their, at their card shops anymore. Um, and whatnot. And, you know, it's a popular set. I understand. I mean, that Inteleon is fantastic. The alternate arts in the set are fantastic. Uh, is this? Who's this? Kos Kosumi. Very cool. Palpitoid. 
Carvana. But my thing is that, you know, when the, when you have a popular set, even if it's all sold out at your local game shops, like just be patient. Like don't give into that FOMO because you can save yourself a lot of money if you just wait. Because there's another, there's going to be a second wave of booster boxes already coming out, I believe, in October. And so when that happens, the price is going to come back down. And then because this set is so popular already, I almost guarantee that Pokemon is already making plans to reprint it, to print more. And so when that happens, again, that price comes down. And so just don't give into FOMO. Like, if you want to pay that 170 like, you do you. You know, if you're a big boy or girl. You can make your own decisions. Is it? No, did we not get a reverse holo? There was no reverse holo again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, I do not understand what is going on with not getting any reverse hollows. I wow. Okay. But yeah, no FOMO, guys. No FOMO. Because you can save yourself a lot of money. Like honestly, just something a little uh I guess Uliism, so to speak, is that you know FOMO will drain your wallet and your emotions, because like if you're just paying that that price when you could save yourself thirty bucks, you know when the when the next wave of booster boxes come, when there's a reprint, I mean just look at things like Vivid Voltage. Vivid Voltage was like three hundred dollars at its peak, and now what are they selling for? About one fifty, and at one point they were, even came down to like one twenty, one twenty five when the when the reprint first hit. And so just be patient. Seriously, just be patient. Don't give into that FOMO. It's going to drain your emotions, trust me. So yeah, just don't do it. Teddy Rusa, be patient. If you can, be patient. Is this no reverse hollow? No reverse. <laughs> oh my gosh. Seriously, I should start just setting aside all the reverse hollows from this box because at this point, having a reverse hollow from this booster box is like getting a hit, a main hit. All right, here we go. One more time. Everybody's feeling fine. Here we go now. <laughs> oh man, I'm just like, are we gonna even, oh, Sal Sal, very nice. Another one for the binder. Dino Pump Kaboo, very cool. Oh, we do get a reverse holo and it's a rare, a rare reverse holo, all right. And a hollow Eldegoss. Very cool. So we saw this. I'm actually, I am going to set those to the side. We actually saw this artwork in EV Heroes, and it's so cool because if we can, if we pull it, we're going to see that there's, a, I think, a Meowth. And uh, I want to say Smeargle, like that's making this trail. It's just so cool. Like those, those cards coincide with one another. Okay, I'm not sure how far we're into this box. Uh, let's see if we have one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. So have we pulled nine. So have we only done nine packs so far? I don't know. We'll probably do maybe another. Um, like six. We'll probably do like another six packs and then call the night for now. And then we will return back to the box another night. Okay, let's try and keep these these uh, pack openings a little more short and sweet, mostly because I don't have as much time as I used to. And also, you know what? I know you all got better things to do, <laughs> I'm sure. Or at the very least, you got other things you can be doing, so I don't want to take too much of your time. Mareep, Swab, is that supposed to be, that's supposed to be the reverse hollow? And ooh, Jolteon VMAX, let's go. First evolution very nice very cool wow i just love the texture on these cards like honestly on the video it does not do it justice on how cool these look in person very nice you get to go next to inteleon oops oh it's okay elder gas i'm sorry you got knocked over And again, I'm hoping this audio sounds fine when I'm opening up that pack. It's not super loud and obnoxious. Um, I'm going to actually put you two to the side. Crystal Cave, Snow Leaf Badge, Avalog, Flab Baby, Flab Baby. Things how you say it. 
Psyduck, very cool Psyduck. Swablu, see that. Ah, there's our reverse holo Leo. And ooh, very cool trap. Is that Komiya? Nice. Very cool artwork. Oh my gosh. Just look at that. Like that's so unique. You've never seen a Drampa look like that. I guarantee you've never seen a Drampa look like that. Wow. That's I mean, that just looks so cool. It looks like it would be like artwork in like I don't. Even, I mean, this is from Japan, so a, like a Japanese restaurant or something. Like, look at that, so cool, man. All right, let's move on. Other stuff that's a bit on my mind, guys. I see, and just in case this pack is interrupting with the mic or interrupting the sound of the mic, you know, guys. Just in case, not in case. So I'm losing my train of thought now. Some things that I see is, you know, we can be so hard on ourselves sometimes, you know. I, I think a lot of times people, you know, you can beat yourself up when you make a mistake. You know, whether it's a mistake at work or maybe with a relationship. And, you know, we can sometimes beat ourselves up and dwell on it. And, you know, obviously we want, we want to correct mistakes. We want to, you know, if we harmed someone, you know, whether it was physically or emotionally or you know accidental obviously we want we want to make amends we want to make it right we want to improve but we shouldn't let that improvement or desire for improvement make us you know belittle ourselves or think less of ourselves because what good does that do like honestly if you just belittle yourself and you know are just making your self-esteem dwindle there's a good chance you will end up hurting more people in the long run because something actually i heard gary v once say he's probably said it a few times but i just love this quote is that hurt people hurt people like when you when people are you know being mean when they're being rude unkind it's not necessarily because they're just a mean person it's because they have some kind of insecurity you know, some kind of suffering inside, some kind of internal pain that they haven't resolved. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're going around beating yourself up, understand that that's not going to do any good. Because when you start affecting your self-esteem that way, then you'll end up hurting someone that you love in the future. And so instead of beating yourself up, learn from the mistake. Learn from it. Change, you know, do what you can, make amends, then move forward and build yourself up. Because there's no point in beating yourself up from mm -hmm. a mistake. We we all make mistakes. My gosh, we all make mistakes. Like I think sometimes we think, ooh, very cool. Actually, I love this Raichu. I had this one uh, from EV Heroes, and that's another one of those cards that it coincides with another one. I forget this, this Pokemon's name. But if we pull it, we will see... Uh, like the Raichu tail in the background. Um, but yeah, we forget that people are not perfect. <laughs> you know, we sometimes look at social media and think that, oh my gosh, look at that person because they posted, you know, the trip they went on. They, uh, they went on a trip with their family and we think, oh my gosh, their life must be so perfect but it's not. Oh my gosh, I think I'm about to run out of room on my camera. So I'm gonna go through this real quick. Drowsy, so cool. Hypno and Gigalith. Okay, I am literally, yeah, it's, it's flashing, telling me I'm about to run, run out of room on this uh, memory card. So I will go ahead and wrap up. That will be the last pack that we open tonight. But guys, again, don't beat yourself up. You know, things can look so you know perfect on social media, but know that that's not always real life. So don't think that everyone's perfect but you. Don't think that everyone has a better life than you. We're all learning. We all make mistakes. Just learn from it, move forward, and that's it. All right, guys, that's all we got for today. I will get back to this, uh, the rest of the packs another night, but hopefully a fantastic day, night, or never watching this, and I will catch you all later.